Newport Ritchie family bought a new stove, but imagine their frustration when it cooked a lot more than just their food. It melted their cabinets. They called our Taking Action reporter, Jackie Calloway, who got to work fixing the problem the manufacturer would not. Jackie? Well, the story isn't so much about the oven as it is about the responses the Rosses say they received from the manufacturer of one of the foremost names in appliances. Their new oven, just months old. We cleaned it for the three-hour period. When Ron Goss activated the self-cleaning feature. We noticed that all these lights came on. This got very hot. The LG emitted so much heat, it melted the covering off of two of the Goss's three-year-old cabinets. It had to be some very intense heat to cause that to happen. Concerned, this couple contacted LG, and that's where the adventure began. Customer service at first told us, well, why don't you turn it into the, your homeowner's insurance? But that would not solve the oven issue. We're, we're afraid of the stove. Then the Gosses say LG offered to pay for the cabinet repair. I said, it's still not the solution. After hearing about their stove saga, I contacted LG. The company told us there's a warning in the owner's manual. We, we looked all through the owner's manual. We don't find any warnings about what kind of cupboards. You then I pulled a database from consumeraffairs.com since 2012. 177 consumers have filed complaints about LG stoves, but only a couple deal with overheating while self-cleaning. I followed up with LG and asked why they don't put a warning sticker on ovens that could damage certain cabinets. In an email, an LG spokesperson stated, I'm certainly going to forward your sticker idea to the product development team. And finally, last week, they offered the Gosses a full refund of nearly $800. And again, of the 177 complaints we reviewed, only two were related to the Gosses. Now, if you're having this problem and LG customer service is not responding, we'd like to hear from you. It's Jackie at ABCActionNews.com. Brendan? Thanks.